Hello, friends, foes, men, women, children, pansexuals, deep dish sexuals, flat crust. We're here not for the Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Allen show. Oh, no. You're watching The Right Show. Today, Taylor Swift is her own biggest fan. Dylan Mulvaney was named Woman of the Year. Usher dresses like a girl. Dana White goes viral and against all the experts. And we're going to find out if Dubai is the safest city in the entire world. It's all happening right here, right now, as Valuetainment presents The Right Show. Let's go! Question of the day, where are you from and who is your favorite member of the Rat Pack? The reason I bring it up, Sammy Davis Jr. is mine. Take a look at this video, you're sure to laugh. Don't go away. Who's he? That's a champ. Tiny Irish Bob Murphy. But he ain't tiny, and I have a sneaking suspicion he ain't even Irish. Yeah, and the ref wants to talk to you. Champ, let me check that glove. <laughs> Give me a hand, will you? Yes, sir. That's a good glove. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boys, this is a 15-round fight. Don't bet on that. I have a dinner date in 10 minutes. I'll be showered, shaved, and dressed in five minutes early. Uh, 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 uh. The reason I wanted to show you that is what happened to fun sketches like that? SNL hasn't created anything like that in, what, at least 10, 15 years. We need it back, folks. That's where you laugh about the differences, racial, ethnic, fighting, all these different things. Now it's just a one-way street. SNL is SOL when it comes to LOLs. With that said, Taylor Swift had her very own watch party for her very own concert movie. This was going on on uh, the red carpet event. She showed up, Beyonce was there, everybody was watching. But when she came back to the theater and watched herself, it was a kind it was a little bit awkward. I'm gonna have to be honest with you, because she already filmed it. She does this every night, and she's watching herself like she's impressed with herself, like she's her own biggest fan. Take a look. I don't want to rain on anybody's parade. Obviously, she's a billionaire. She works hard. People love her. But I've filmed my own comedy specials before. I've had watch parties. If I was watching like, oh, I'm so funny. Oh, my God. Like, what's with all the over-emotional antics? So I want to know right now, do you think that Taylor should have gone to her own watch party and danced and choreographed it and just acted shocked? Because when you saw that video, she was her own biggest fan. Put that in the comments. We love to hear from you guys. I think she should just shake it off and go see somebody else perform. She needs a little break from herself. Now, Dylan Mulvaney, you might know this gentleman. Uh, he's been a woman for 400 days, he says. And it's absolutely crazy that he was just named woman of the year. Now, this is the person that was in the Bud Light ad. Bud Light has always been the, con the company of American values. You see they have the horses and the American flags, country singers. The target audience of a Bud Light drinker is probably uh, middle America, not the 2% who's recently become LGBTQRSTUVWX. Well, these are my gay BCs. But the point is, 
it doesn't matter. Bud Light put their efforts behind that person, not a fallen soldier, not a Marine, not an ex-president, but a new woman 400 days in. And if that wasn't enough, Virgin got into it. Maybe uh, as a woman, she's a virgin. Calling her Woman of the Year with Attitude magazine. She gave the acceptance speech. It's a little cringe. It looks a little something like this. The Woman of the Year award, supported by Virgin Atlantic, goes to Dylan Mulvaney. Hello, London! I am so honored to be here with you all tonight. And, you know, some see me as the Woman of the Year, some see me as a woman of a year and some change, as I only publicly came out online 560 days ago. Here's what I've realized. You ready? Okay. So, no matter how hard I try, or what I wear, or what I say, or what surgeries I get, I will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards. <laughs> but as long as I have the queer community that sees me for my truth, I'm going to be okay. See, she almost had it right uh, when he said, no matter what I wear, how good I look, how many surgeries I get, I will never. I was like, oh, there's finally some self-awareness. But no, took a left turn and said, I will never be accepted by mean, mean people. I want you to take a look right here. This photo shows you. This is what happens when you order a woman on Wish. Be careful out there, gentlemen. We have Usher, speaking of Woman of the Year, who was invited by Louis Vuitton to wear an outfit that is not fit for a gentleman. Now, obviously, I'll let you be the judge of it. Is this Scottish? Is this a schoolgirl? Take a look and listen to the uh, person kind of commenting. I think he nailed it right here. Now, let's let the judgment begin. We got Usher. Usher Raymond, a legend when it comes to the R&B game, right? Stepping out in a Louis V skirt. Looked like a Girl Scout uniform, correct? A Louis V Girl Scout uniform probably costs about 50 grand. We understand that. Got the Louis socks, the shoes, the whole Girl Scout uniform on. And I know y'all sitting here thinking, like, why? Y'all thinking, my man could never. That's what the women are saying. The women are saying, my man would never. And the fellas is over here saying, man, I would never put a skirt on. Let's say that Usher's being paid $20 million to put this skirt on. Fellas, y'all telling me y'all not taking that $20 million? <laughs> I could never. I would never. Oh, wait a minute. Did they say $22 million? Yes, I could wear that. I'm a petite. You can give me a bustier. I'll put a little bow in my hair. $20 million. I will do just about anything. What would you do for $20 million? Would you wear the Usher Girl Scout uniform? Put it in the comments. Folks, there's not a whole lot I wouldn't do for $20 million because then I could just pay to go to an island and forget all about it with a mojito. But just, if there was not money on the table, do you approve of Usher wearing that outfit and kind of being a role model for others? I don't think so. Without that money on the table, I think that Usher should get ushered right back to the men's section. We'll be back after a whole lot more. All right, Jim Carrey has long been a Trump derangement syndrome victim. He hates Donald Trump, but he also hates vaccines. So when Biden forced everyone to get the vaccine and tried to make it a law and a mandate, it kind of went against his core principles. So he doesn't quite know where he stands. Let's listen to Jim Carrey talk years ago about being anti va va va, -va. I can't say the word, don't want to get demonetized, long before it was popular. I don't think we can afford to assume that the people who are charged with our public health any longer have our best interests at heart all the time. Parents have to make their own decisions. Why would a doctor not want to know more about something that could save a life or prevent a disease? The AAP is financed by the drug companies. Medical drug schools companies are financed by the drug this companies. Going. This is a huge business. Vaccines are the largest growing division of the pharmaceutical industry. $13 billion. They control medical schools. These doctors are not learning about prevention or vitamins or diets. What we're asking is for them to take a loss for the good of our children. That's a tough sell in a boardroom. Oh, was that a radical right-wing neo-Nazi extremist? 
No, that was Jim Carrey just about 10, 15 years ago. Always was kind of cautious about the new, uh, the new things you want to do that will go remain unsaid, so I keep my channel. But as soon as Biden got in office, well, he kept pretty quiet. You know, all those videos have been scrubbed offline. It was hard to find that one. They want it to go away because the media is now saying the only people that are anti vavabusti are radical right-wing Trump supporters. How does Jim Carrey explain that? You tell me. Joe Biden, speaking of which, uh, wanted everyone to get the vaccine. He wanted every single person. Uh, it, here's the best part. You could have gone to New York as a nurse, and when there was no Boosty Boost, helped all the people there. But as soon as the Boosty Boost became available, you would be fired as a nurse if you didn't take it. Jim Carrey, you have a lot of explaining to do. Here is Dana White also sharing his lack of, uh, let's just say, a belief system in the experts nowadays. Mm -hmm. Never talk to a doctor about my general health ever again. If I break my arm, I'm going to go see a doctor. Right. If I need surgery, I'm going to go see a doctor. My general health, never again. None of them know what they're talking about. They're all full of shit. All they know is to put you on pills mm -hmm. and put you on medicine. That's all they know. Wow, Dana White. So it's interesting to hear powerful people starting to speak up after a very long debate over the, whether the Boosty Boosts were okay or not. So we're going to ask you, are you the type of person that wants to try every new thing that comes right out? Or do you want to wait for some more data and see if your body needs it? Let us know in the comments because that was one of the biggest arguments of 2020, 21, and 22. We'll be back with a whole lot more of The Right Show. Joe Biden is no longer with us. Was he ever with us? These are the questions that keep me up at night. I want you guys to take a look at the new policy for the Democrats, which is instead of let them just look for which way to get on the stage or to get off, they now send his wife up there. So it's kind of like, oh, no, it's just a campaign thing. But you can see he's lost. His eyes are kind of wondering what's going on. And then his wife kind of has been told, hey, as he's kind of becoming more and more demented, calm him down, be a familiar face, and bring him back off the stage the correct way. So there he is arguing with, are, are you sure it's this way, honey? I could have, not a joke. Well, who knows what's going on anymore, but this is an upgrade. The previous person that used to take him off the stage was none other than the Easter Bunny. Now, I have no way of knowing who's in that costume. It could be we've been duped all along. Is it possible Jill Biden is the Easter Bunny? Find out this April. Now, moving right along, Donald Trump is never one to pull punches. He mentions Joe Biden and kind of goes for the knockout right here. Does anybody think he's going to make it to the starting gate? I mean, the guy can't find his way off of a stage. Look, here's a stage. Here's a stage. I've never seen this stupid stage before, right? I've never seen it. But if I walk left, there's a stair. And if I walk right, there's a stair. And this guy gets up. Where am I? Where the hell am I? Where am I? I just love that. That, that was a great use of the space. So I want to uh, ask my fans right here, uh, what do you think is wrong with Joe Biden. Please put it in the comments. Now, we are not psychologists, but we can always just kind of guess from the sidelines. And if you like traveling as much as I do, then it's time to change gears a little bit. Let's have a little fun. There's so much to see out there, and this YouTube page was getting a lot of love because they're showing some of the more interesting places in the world you can go visit. These might blow your mind. Take a look. Run it up. How cool is that? So these are places you might not have ever seen before. Now, just remember, when the President of the United States doesn't know where to go and he's walking around all weird, 
Well, what happens? Ukraine gets attacked because Russia's like, hey, now's our chance. China moving on Taiwan, possibly. Mexico, wide open border. And of course, we know what happened in Israel just last week. So it seems like when the uh, cat is away, the mice like to play. Now remember, when you go to these places all over the world, you also have to watch out because getting there is very difficult. Airports are tough. Traveling can be difficult, and then the Airbnb accommodations can be a little weird. Look at what a developing nation Airbnb looks like. These people heard a little rattling up in the rafters. Then they saw a snake tail. They said, oh, there's a little snake up there. Okay, so uh, do they get a refund on that trip? Uh, a predator just dropped from the ceiling, dude. I'm sure they're like, no, you can still stay. We just fix it. It's fine. You just, no, no. We give you uh, free towels. You know, come on. That is ridiculous. That's why I don't want to go anywhere. And here's a guy who doesn't want to go anywhere anymore either. He found it very tough to get through the TSA. Now, we've all been going through airport security for years now. We kind of know the deal. This gentleman in Orlando, Florida, he's going his own way. That one gentleman shut down that security checkpoint for over an hour. Imagine missing your flight because a dude with a duffel bag and a guitar didn't want to go through the ordeal. How far did he think he was going to get, bro? And that was just one guy. What is going to happen when 10 of them start pushing their way through the airport? 20, 40, or a Biden dozen. That's where you just leave it open and there's just a mad rush. Woo! So we're in trouble, folks. As long as it's one person at a time, sure, 15, 20 security guards can take them down. But if this is ever organized, we are in big trouble. All right? Now, places that are not in big trouble are places like Dubai. That's where if you steal something, they chop off your hand. Yink. Steal something else, boop, no hand. Kind of hard to be Black Lives Matter if you got no hands. So this is how good the guy did in Dubai. He took his Rolls Royce to the gym, parked it on a busy street, and taunted the thieves to show, here's how safe it is. Would you try this in your neighborhood? How safe Dubai is. I got the keys of a Rolls Royce Cullinan, put it right here beside the spirit of ecstasy, and I'll go to the gym. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Just finished the gym right now. Oh, the car is still there, look at this. Now I got bitches in Europe, they singing my shit. Remember? Okay, there's people around, there's people. Deliverer, the Karim guy. Man, 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 man. Mashallah, Dubai, best city on earth. Habibi, come to Dubai. Come to Dubai. Own all my masters, I'm never signing a 360. Man. It's 10 for the first. So safe, you can just do that. I tried something similar right here at Valuetainment Studios. Didn't go so well. I go to Dubai. I go to Dubai. What the f? Oh, come on! Florida. So we're going to look for that. Uh, I'm sure the police are right on it. All right. And we move into the more serious aspect of our show. Obviously, our hearts go out to any victims. There was a music festival. There was a, an attack on Israel. And here they come, these parachuters. Well, they're shooting rockets over their head to create a distraction. They hit the bulldozer through the wall. Walls work. Yes, they can be broken, but at least you know that's a real attack when someone's coming through with the bulldozer. And then they started shooting up unarmed, non-military, non-combatants at a music festival, as well as elderly people and children. So this is not happening. Now, to provide a little levity, I will tell you that if you look at all the different countries, Egypt, Lebanon, you got Hezbollah, Hamas, Iran, Shiite, Sunni, what is the one thing they lack in that region 
other than water. I'll tell you what it is. It's hose. If they had a hose, this wouldn't be happening. That's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? Come on, girls. The girls of that region, they need to show Djibouti. I want to see some women rocking in Morocco. Start twerking in Turkey. This could solve a lot of problems. We know those ladies are fine in Palestine. You can see those boobies and be like, are those fake? No, Israel. I want to know if there's any BBLs in the UAE. We're going to make it rain in Bahrain. That's when you're going to find peace. It's kind of hard to do a jihad when you just jizzed hard. Oh man, we cannot Kuwait any longer for this. Here's what we need to do. We need to have a gentleman's club in the Middle East. I've already picked out a name. The Gaza Strip. Do you think this could solve our problems? I say we open a chain of strip clubs, the Gaza Strips, in every one of those countries I just mentioned, and just maybe we find peace at last. If you enjoyed my comedy, I hope you'll come see a stand-up show live. These are the cities I'm going to be at next. Edmonton, Canada, Hobart, Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Chattanooga, and Huntington Beach, California. All those are on caveoncomedy.com, and if you don't see a city near you, we can go ahead and do a private event. So let me know what city I should hit. Now, I want to tell you this. If you have not seen my stand-up comedy, here's a little sneak peek. This is going viral right now. If you like it, get a ticket. Third group that does not need the vaccine, kids that went to the McDonald's Playland growing up. <laughs> We're already immune to everything. We went to a fast food restaurant for amusement. Crawling around a little ghetto Disneyland in the gerbil tunnels, just crawling around. Like, nobody ever cleaned it. You never see a dude with Windex in the gerbil tunnel. Like, Hold on, I gotta clean it. Nobody sanitized. What happened in the gerbil tunnel stayed in the gerbil tunnel. It was Las Vegas for kids. And then after you're done in the gerbil tunnel, you slide into some balls. Right? Who landed in some balls and had fun in there? Yes, you did. That's where you would get diseases from the balls. Each color was a different virus. They came from China that way. The yellow ones were chicken pox. Throw that at your brother. Pow! Red ones, measles. Right back at you. You go home and get sick as hell. Just, oh, what happened? I went to McDonald's Playland. The next week, time to go back to McDonald's. So when people are like, Kayvon, are you anti-vax? No, I'm pro balls. Let's talk about it. I'm pro balls. How about you? Pro balls or you want to get multiple boosty boost? You know, sometimes you go through the ball pit, you step on a syringe, you just got a free vaccine. Folks, that's what we do here. We tell truth through comedy. We're waking America up with laughter and we try to give it to you in a fun way. This is the news for people who hate the news. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and be sure to get a ticket to one of those live shows. That's it for us. We'll see you next week with more from The Right Show. Peace.